I'm Dr. Deepak Talwar. I'm a director and chair at Metro Center for Respiratory Diseases, which is in Noida, NCR Delhi. See, in bronchial thermoplasty, what is done is that there are the waves which are being passed into the airways, which goes and actually leads to a lot of reduction in the smooth muscle which is surrounding the windpipe and the smaller windpipes. So basically, in a, in, a, in a layman's terminology, what we are talking about that all the airway passages or the airway conduits, which are called windpipes, they are surrounded by the smooth muscle which constricts them in asthmatic patients. In some of them, they become very big and hypertrophy or rather they are much more significant than they are in the rest of the people where they are leading to persistent obstruction of the airways and the patients are breathless all the time. In such patients, these kind of the bronchial thermoplasty waves which are released they go and actually dissolve this smooth muscle and it releases the airways in a way by making them more bigger in size and dilated so that the patient can breathe in and breathe out easily. See, generally it is, uh, we do BT for only those patients who have tried their medications, they are not uh, able to respond to that and they continue to suffer, they have poor quality of life, they get into the hospitalizations and exacerbations repeatedly and we check that they are compliant to their medications and still not responding. There is only a small subgroup of patients of asthmatic who behave like this but they continue to suffer a lot and because of their recurrent hospitalizations, exacerbations and treatments, there is a lot of money required for their treatment and this all needs to be taken care of by looking at a specific treatment therapies for them and bronchial thermoplasty is one of them. In bronchial asthma which is severe and does not respond to usual therapy which is like inhaled uh, bronchodilators and corticosteroids, uh, we have for the last couple of years biologicals available which are being targeted to treat the allergic component of asthma. But then there are significant number of patients who are not allergic and in these patients we had no other option before. We were most of the times using long term azithromycin, weight reductions and sometimes even using oral corticosteroids to control their disease but with no effect only having the side effects of oral corticosteroids. So now with the bronchial thermoplasty in place in for such group of patients, uh, their airways are permanently dilated with the help of bronchial thermoplasty where neither the steroids nor any biologicals or any other drugs are effective in treating them. See, we have about seven or eight of them all over India, out of which four are in the south and uh, three are in this part of uh, north and maybe one or two are coming up in the next couple of months. So we have roughly about a dozen of facilities being available all across India. See, uh, if you look at the amount of uh, uh, the lung diseases which are there, we are almost uh, you know, leading third cause of death across India. And we have so much of chronic lung diseases, particularly obstructive airway disease, chronic asthma, interstitial lung diseases, tuberculosis and infections, so many of them and with added on pollution and other things which we are talking about PM 2.5 and PM 10. So we have actually a huge burden of respiratory disease in India. However, there is an effort to find out the exact magnitude of diseases by ICMR and other like CRF Pune and many other institutes which are trying to put in and pitch in for some research in it. But uh, organized kind of a big research projects which can look into you know the exact burden as well as the outcomes of the patients who are suffering from chronic respiratory diseases is still lacking from India.